Hi. In this video, we are going to look at what's called function composition. In the last video, we looked at the three functions f, g, and h that we have listed here. And now what we're going to try is what happens when you take and you compose the functions. So let me show you an example. For example, let's try this. Tr find g of h of x. All right, here we go. Well, what this says is that you're going to put all of h, you're going to put all of this piece here, the x squared minus 4, it, all of that replaces the x in the g. So we write it like this. Well, this becomes then g of x squared minus 4. So I'm just replacing the h of x with the x squared minus 4. But now what our next step is, is to put x squared minus 4 into g. So that becomes the square root of x squared minus 4. And that would be g of h of x. Now, let's try, oh, let's see what happens if we switch these. For example, Let's try h of g of x. Okay, this means that we take and we put the g in, of x inside of the first set of parentheses. So that becomes h of the square root of x. Now what we do is we put the square root of x into h. So that becomes the square root of x squared minus 4, and we can simplify this by the square root of x squared is simply x. And so h of g of x is x minus 4. All right, let's try one more example. Oh, and, and the point of this exercise, or of those two examples, what I wanted to show you is that usually, usually, when you switch the order of the composition, in this case, h of g of x is usually not the same as g of h of x. There is an exception, and it implies, or it, it applies only to a unique circumstance, which we will soon discover. So let's try one more. Let's try h of h of x. All right, here we go. So our first step is to replace this h of x with what h of x is, and that is x squared minus 4. Okay, now what we do is we put this x squared minus 4 into x squared minus 4. So it becomes x squared minus 4 squared minus 4. So now what we need to do is we need to clean this up. We could stop there, but let's continue. This becomes x squared minus 4 times x squared minus 4 minus 4. Then we need to distribute our parentheses. So x squared times x squared becomes x to the fourth. x squared times negative 4 is minus 4x squared. And then we repeat with the bottom ones, minus 4 times x squared is minus 4x squared. We have plus 16 minus 4. And then if we combine like terms, we have like terms in the x squareds and in the constants. And so our final result is x to the fourth minus 8x squared plus 12 is the result of h of h of x, and that is how you compose functions. Thanks for watching.